いくわよー Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to z e n m o x channel. Today, we're going to be building the high grade build diverse, the Gundam Love Pentum. So, this is actually one of my favorite designs of the Gundam build diverse, you know,、uh, besides from the no name asteroid. And honestly, though, this review is coming a little late, although I do have this gunplay like, what, three months ago already. Like,、um, I bought it, but I just. Always, you know, store it on the back lot and completely forget about the existence of this. So, we're just gonna take a quick look about the size. So, here we can see some actions. Uh, there's some. So, is you know, when first time this g a m p l e t came out because it's using a scythe, which is a weapon from Death Scythe Hell, a lot of people suspected, like a lot of theories going on. Oh, we are getting an XG, a revived version of Death Scythe Hell. Hell no, you're dreaming. <laughs> anyway, this is not the topic. But、uh, we know we're just gonna quickly look through it and then you know、uh, we're gonna look at the side here now. So we have some English text introduction here. So if you really want to read it, stop here and take a look at it. But I'm not gonna do it as well. So um <clears throat> so we're just gonna quickly open this up and then you know let's check out the runners first. It, it took me quite uh, uh some time to you know kind of open up all the runners because there's so much. So for those of you that don't know, is actually this gunplay is actually based on the Strike Freedom Gundam. So, of course, it's going to be using some XGC Strike Freedom Gundam. If you don't、uh, really familiar with that gunplay, I do make a review like in the early days of my channel. So, please go check it out if you don't know which gunplay it is.、Uh, anyways, we're going to take a look at it here. So, we got some details about the gunplay, the pilot, and the specification as well.、Um, so, we're just going to quickly open it and then we can see that there's the backpack and there's the weapon. Oh, by the way,、um, So, the scythe of the Gunpla actually came with pink, so you have to repaint it to black because it's supposed to be black. And I do have some leftover black paint, which means I can paint the weapon back to the、uh, correct colors. And we do have the beam shield effect right here, so it's pretty good. So, we're just gonna quickly flick through it and then we're just gonna put it away. Oop. Like, see,、uh, the back here already said、uh, it's based on the Strike Freedom Gundam, and we can see the, the, the introduction of each type of weapons. So let's take a look at it. So, first, we got J2 runner. The J2 runner is based on the backpack, and we can see the railgun on the backpack and the huge and then the huge、um, sword on the backpack as well. And this is going to be a B1 runner. The B1 runner will be from the、um, Strike Freedom Gundam, the XGCE. So, we got、um, part of the backpack. We got the torso part here, we got a neck unit here, and then we have some. Railgun's part, and then we have a part of the rival as well. And this is a A1 runner, which is coming from the XGC、uh, Strike Freedom Gundam as well. So we can see there's some waist part, we can see there's some legs part, and then we can see some thighs, we can see some arms, we can see the head, a tenor, and the down, at, down here, and then we can see the front of the waist. A, a J1 runner that did exactly the same like the J2 runner that we introduced. So we have two pieces of、um, I runner. The I runner is a new molded.、Um, so the I runner is the backpack and feet and also part of the shoulders, I believe. And this part, I don't really know which part is this. We'll find it out at the build. So this is the K runner. So Is from GLP NOR. So, okay. <laughs>、um, okay, so we have some white parts here. I believe this is like the this is like the sword handle for the backpack. And we can see some torso part here, some torso part more again. And we can see the new head, the new antenna. And then we have the yellow part on the backpack right here. And then we have the C runner. The C runner came from the original XGC Strike Freedom Gundam. We can see this is beam shield effect part. We have some、uh, torso part here, some railgun part, and then we have some torso parts, the, the head parts, and then we can see a lot of yellow parts on the body, such as the shoulders and the、um, thrusters and the、uh, radiationer. Uh, we have an A2 runner, so、uh, we already introduced it. It's just like the A1 runner. It contains the arms part, the legs part, and basically the outside armor that is. Pink, and then we have an E1 run runner, E1 and E2 runner. They basically have the same thing, so I'm just gonna take E1 and introduce it. So the E1 runner, we got some inner parts of the arms. Ah,、uh, uh, we got some inner parts of the 
waist as well, legs part, and then we have uh, two uh, two hands option. I believe this is the open hand, and this is the weapon holding hand to for the governor to use it. And then we have two L, we have two L runner. So I'm just gonna take one and introduce it. The L runner, though, uh, I believe this is like the part for the backpack as well, and this mostly is a new runner, so I assume it's gonna be doing uh, new things, of course. Um, I believe this will be the backpack joint part. And but uh, I'm do I do expect there's gonna be a good color separation because since uh, the stickers that I receive is only three stickers, so it's all for the head. And then we have of course this one large beam saber effect part for the uh, scythe, and then we also have the poly gaps. So this is very pretty much the runner's introduction. So I'm just not gonna talk too much and let's jump to the uh, jump to the building. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Gundam Love Phantom. So this is the finishing product. Uh, honestly, to say though, uh, it is a pretty overall good finish. And I must say though, there is a little bit of color separation problem. We'll talk, we'll talk about that detail later. Um, but overall, I pretty much like it. Uh, first, it's based on a new mold. So it's from a XGCE Strike Freedom Gundam, of course. So it's pretty new and it's pretty stable and it's pretty stabilized. And of course, it's going to be a uh, very good articulation and the overall finish. Um, so there's a one small problem about the gunpla is that because the backpack is filled with solid plastic, so sometimes you feel like your gunpla is leaning backwards because, uh, let's be honest, um, the backpack is actually pretty heavy. So yeah, so you just have to be a little bit careful when you're making a standing pose or, you know, um, doing some doing some poses about the gunpla and just need to slightly adjusting the angles or something like that. But anyways, so uh, let's take Let's dig into it. So first we gotta look at the head. So if you take a look close look to the head, the head, the little red part 
in front of the antenna is actually a little different. It's a heart shape, um, uh, piece of armor. And, you know, if you watch the anime before, it's supposed to shoot out like a love beam or something like that. It's a, it's a heart beam. It's a heart shape beam. But, uh, honestly though, <laughs> um, it is based on the pilot's, uh, character. So I'm not going to do, do too much comment about it. Uh, but the head is, overall can move up and down and you know uh side to side as well uh the head is pretty tight and it can lift up pretty high as well the neck joint is absolutely amazing you can lift the head up on a pretty high angle um and also the head is pretty much a new mode now i want to talk about torso the torso actually have a mist color so you see the you see the white part on this chest here is actually supposed to be gray so if you have the paint just repaint it yourself um, but I honestly, uh, honestly though, I feel like white, it, the white color looks better than the gray one. And it gives you a clear color separation. So, um, but here's a little thing. Uh, the chest part is actually pretty easy to fall apart. So you might want to glue this yellow part here. Um, it's a ball joint at the middle of here. So you can slightly move the waist up and down, um, turning side to side as well. Uh, turning side to side, there's a little bit of problem because the rail gun is attached on the bottom of the chest. So you will sometimes find your rail gun is, you know, getting interrupted and or moving it together when you move the chest uh overall though i feel like the chest the chest color separation is doing a very good job and i absolutely love it um the only difference on the chest is this new part here so the um, plasma cannon at the uh, abdominal um so it they didn't use the original version from the strike freedom gun instead they give you a new piece to snap it on so it's just a little bit of difference um from the outlook so moving on to the arms the shoulder piece is completely new and uh it's so much to talk about so of course the hands can move 360 when the backpack is not interrupted and you know it can bend up to a pretty high angle as well of course it can spin around as well uh hands down here you can you can have this type of weapon holding hand or they did give you an extra pair of open hands and also the arms is able to lift up 90 degrees and of course there's a joint in there so you can move the arm slightly out but you know it's not really a very explosive angle it's just a little it's just you can move it out a little bit more so that's basically the hands as well all right moving on we're gonna looking at the waist so the waist part is basically exactly the same like this right freedom except it's just color difference so of course it can lift up and you know if you if you play with the xgc and i do have a review before before so uh at the side here you can actually see there's an extra there's an extra slot here is for the beam rival but of course um this suit doesn't contain a beam rival so of course that's not possible and the funny thing is uh at the back here this little back waist armors can be movable as well so it's pretty good as well so um, just like the strike freedom, um, it does contain, it does contain the railgun just like the strike freedom and you can extend it as well. You just basically rotate the railgun and it can extend it and then you can pose with it as well. There's two beam savers on the waist armor as well, but of course it does not come with a beam saber effect part. If you really want to play with it, I suggest you just grab a, if you have an XGC strike freedom, just grab the, just grab the, beam effect parts off from that gunpla and you know have a, have fun with it all right now moving on to the legs so the legs uh if you if you really want to talk about something beside the backpack i would say the legs is the major it's like a very it, you can see clearly see a difference between the strike freedom and the no and this uh customized love phantom so as you can see it is it is high healed so and there's a funny thing is uh, for some reason you may look like it's not really stabilized as a high heel but it's actually standing quite well for the gunpla and i really love the idea so first you can move to the side and uh kick not really kicking to the front um you're not really kicking to the front because there is a sharp piece of armor you know when you kick to the front it will stick um to the skirt armor and it's kind of interrupting the movements of course kicking to the back is uh absolutely no problem at all uh the legs can bend on a pretty well angle look at that that's really good uh, articulation right there and there's a piece of little little piece of armor right down here that you can slightly move it uh the legs you can bend down bend up as well at the tip of feet uh the feet is a ball joint so of uh so you can you know move it uh, pretty freely just not over move it as i said ball joint always got a very 
very bad thing is if you over move it, it will pop out. So, you know, just just uh, be careful with your poses so you won't have those ball joint popping out problem. Right now, let's take a look on the backpack. So the backpack is basically just strike noise backpack, but flip, you know, flip, you know, just reverse flipped it. So there's a lot of movable parts here, such as the wings down here. And then, you know, the 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 sword handle right here and then as well as the uh, rail gun on the back as well so it can rotate and expand as well and you know there's a lot of movable parts on the on this um backpack as well so that's why i really like the no nor type backpack because no type backpack is like a very good design backpack that you can shoot that you can do combat and uh, apart from that, that there's some joint here that you can move as well. So as you can see right here, I'm just showing you some demonstration. So the black part on the top here can be moved as well. So I mean the whole backpack that uh, up here, there's a joint here that you can move, but it's pretty tight to move. So I'm not going to showcase that because it's pretty hard for me to twist it on as well. So the backpack, I would say though, the backpack is a very good design, but honestly, though, it looks a bit weird because <laughs> it looks, it just looks like um, it is a bit weird and it is a bit lazy as well because they just basically took the strike noise backpack and they just reverse flip it done. Now let's moving on to the accessory part. So not really much to talk about about the accessory. For first we have a beam shield. Uh, honestly though, I feel like this shield is, um, excuse me, is useless. First, it doesn't have color. Second, um, as I said before, like all the type of beam shield that attach on the gunpla, it will, will, you know, it's usually a very large piece of it and it will, and it really interrupts the articulation of the gunpla. Plus, this one is no color, it's just plain white. I, I personally won't put this on the gunpla because it, it just, it just doesn't look very good. And secondly, we have a, the main weapon, the beam scythe. So of course, um, I repainted to black because when it came into the mode, it was pink. And then I decided I would just paint it black. And there's a, and there's a large piece of beam effect part right here. Um, honestly to say though, the gunpla, the gunpla's hand can't really hold the scythe because the head uh, which is this uh, kind of beam saber effect part is very heavy and um, I tried uh, several times and it always you know start to slipping off but if you don't want to side you can actually there's a there's a slot on the backpack and you can clip it onto the backpack and that's pretty much it um, other than that the accessory that left is a pair of open hands which I mentioned before and seriously though there's not much to talk about about the accessory so I can't really make <laughs> really much but there's one more if you ask for it so on the backpack there's a sword which you can flip it out it's based on the strike norse uh, design but honestly though I have to say though they they do make the sword pretty crap this is the only part that I don't like about the weapons on this gun part is this that I rather to have the original strike norse uh, beam you know that lot the huge uh, sword design this one though it looks a bit weird and it looks a little bit irregular as well and uh by the way the blade out here that flipped out is actually looks pretty weird as well i personally don't really like this weapon design but other other than that uh other than that, the overall weapon design, I still accept it. It's just the backpack part here. I just don't really like it. So this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, honestly, to say though, there's only two things that I don't like. First, um, the backpack is too heavy, so it kind of interrupts the standing position, but that's a, you know, a very small problem. Uh, second thing is, um, as I said before, the backpack sword, I don't really like the design. I appreciate they try to do some customization, but I, I just can't accept it. It looks very weird. And, you know, it's just a small thing. But overall, it is a good gamma. It got good color separation. But the, the only thing that you might want to do is just buy uh, gray, gray paint. And then, you know, just repaint the, the scythe. So you can, so you don't have to see with the, so because the original color is pink. So you might want to repaint it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Overall, the articulation, the color separation, I absolutely love it. The design. It's pretty cool. I pretty like it as well. And uh, if you have some chances to get one and have fun with it, go for it. Uh, well, um, this is the end of the review. Goodbye.